hey guys what's up it's your boy kinder here back here for another video in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to increase your fps in minecraft this video is mostly aimed for people who have lower end pcs and, and are struggling to achieve a steady frame rate maybe 60 fps if your pc is really bad probably 100 plus like what i got my old pc and yeah uh, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't let's get into the video okay so the first step is a no-brainer uh, just go online and search for um, a minecraft pvp client such as hyperion badline client luna client or even forge forge i think is the oldest of one of these clients and hyperion was made by scare I personally use Badline Client as it's the, and it, as it has a, a better variety of mods, and uh, such as VPlay mod and all that, but and a, a, de a pretty good FPS boost. With Luna Client being um, very focused on no Luna Client being very focused on PvP, so it has all the PvP mods you need. And I think. From my experience, for what I know, Luna Client supports these versions, and so does Badline. Badline, I think, also does snapshots. Forge is very good for people who um, have, they can choose their whatever they want instead of something that's pre-selected from like Badline, Hyperion, Luna. They can choose the mods, and um, I have a mod folder that's coming up for anyone who's using Forge, and stay tuned for that. When you go into Skyblock Lobby, your FPS, my FPS drops on 500. Um, and it's a good way of telling which client gives the most FPS boost when there is quite a lot of server lag. This is why you'd be experiencing a high pixel if you're a big Skyblock player. And yeah, it, it goes just above 100, 130, 140. And uh, let's see what the Luna Client does. So clearly in the Skyblock Hub, I'm getting way more FPS, nearly 200 FPS at peaks. And even while we're doing 200, 230 FPS. So the Luna Client is better than Badline Client in terms of FPS. Is the next client, Forge. On Forge, we get around 50 to 60 frames per second. So, sorry, I meant around 130 or 100 frames per second so just slightly worse than badline client and often dips down less than 60 and there's frames plus on it as well but frames plus the free version i doesn't give that much of a frame uh, fps boost from what i can that what i could tell from my computer my the second step i'd use for giving myself giving you or yourself a more frames per second is that if you have a graphics card um, such as I have an AMD graphics card, so in my in my AMD settings over here, um, you should go to performance and go for okay. And if you have an AMD graphics card, I recommend for you to copy all of these settings that I put down here. Okay, and um, if you ha if you have an Nvidia graphics card, I would uh, I would put a link down in the description on to another video on how to optimize that graphics card. And if you're using integrated graphics, I recommend going into uh, your Windows bar and type game mode. And for AMD uh, users, I recommend not turning this on, but for uh, Nvidia cards and for Intel, Intel APUs, I'd recommend to turn this on. As for AMD cards, I don't know why, but it makes um, if you getting if you want the most out of your FPS, I'd recommend to turn this off for AMD cards. Not sure about Nvidia cards, but definitely for APUs uh, such uh, from Intel, I would recommend turning this on. And yeah, uh, let's get into the next step. The next step is your Minecraft settings. It's a no-brainer to if you have if you're getting not getting in um, 60 FPS or if it's unplayable, I'd recommend to put everything on low. And if you want something like my one, um, this is mine. Render distance six. We keep bobbing off. All this. You can pause uh, whenever you want to see. Uh, whenever you want to see what you uh, want to copy off.
so once so once you're in badline client or any mod client you can just go to settings like over here and i've allocated around eight gigabytes of ram and it's just as simple as a slider you can even put up to one gigabyte of ram a6 9 i keep i personally keep mine at eight gigabytes of ram and and on the and on the Luna client, it's it's the same thing. There is in the option, there is the settings icon. You can allocate the amount of RAM you want. But from five, I would say that you would see the most performance from five to six gigabytes of RAM. Putting it further up will barely make a difference. If so, not make a difference. And you can even increase the amount of RAM in normal Minecraft. For Minecraft, if you're playing on Forge or Optifine, for example, your Optifine 1.8.9, you could just you can go up here, click it, edit, more options, get rid of everything in the JVM arguments, type in dash xmx. In this case, I'm at RAM so 6G. Then you can dash. After you've done this, so you can save it and boot it up. And if you press F3, you should see that it's taking up six gigabytes of RAM instead of two that it was, and should give you a quite a lot of FPS boost. The thing about overclocking is literally free performance. You don't need to pay for it. And if you're on a laptop, I'm sorry, you can't overclock it. You would either if it you it would most look for, uh, likely be locked. From your system provider or it and if it was unlocked do not do it I repeat don't because you could risk losing the laptop I would only recommend this with people who have systems with de a good power supply and a, a good graphics card that can handle the power the power being drawn from the power supply Thank you guys for watching my video and if it really helped like and subscribe like always i'm good my channel is going super fast so i just want to say thank you to everyone who's subscribing and likes and leaving comments it really motivates me to put more videos and i am the most consistent youtuber in the world